here's what we're going to do. I've got some percussion instruments. You don't have to be a musician. In fact, it's maybe even better if you're not. But we're going to essentially ask three folks to come join us, jam with the band. And if three of you are joining me on stage, we're all going to feel this, this exhilarating rush of having to create in real time, of having to be a real-time innovator. One of the things I love doing is incorporating live jazz in a keynote performance. In this case, it's really fun. I hire local musicians who we never played together, so there's a little bit of danger in the whole thing. And we use jazz as a living live metaphor for the challenges that we face in business. How do we grow? How do we lead? How do we collaborate? This is a memorable performance that will be unlike any other keynote that you've ever seen. Here what we do is we perform a little bit, we invite the audience to look at their world through the lens of a jazz musician, and it all culminates with a live performance that the audience participates in. Together as an audience and the musicians, we, we compose a jazz song and then we have to perform it together. Next, I invite audience members to join me up on stage, give them percussion instruments, and we all have to jam in this brand new set of music that we've never played before. It's dangerous, it's thrilling, it's exciting, and the entire audience feels like they're in this exhilarating ride of, of having to create in real time. People walk away not only fired up, and there's always lots of applause and photo taken and people are posting on social media, but they walk away with this muscle memory, this new experience, this new level of creative confidence. So they're ready to take on the next challenge. They're ready to tackle the next adversity or seize the next opportunity. As mentioned, we've never performed together, but we pick up on each other's cues. One person may have a little of an idea, let's say I start something on the guitar, and then Trey picks it up on bass, and before you know it, Brad is incorporated into his drum solo. So what's happened is it's a co-creation process. One person's idea fuels the other, and we tackle challenges head on in real time. One of the reasons that we get confident in playing jazz isn't so much that we're gonna perform perfectly, we know we're not. In fact, what it is is that we build up a reservoir of confidence in our ability to recover. By the way, a little jazz secret, if you're performing and you play a terrible note, a clunker, just play it twice more. It's all art, it's fine. <laughs> so this morning we're gonna go on a little bit of a journey through the lens of a jazz musician on how we can, again, inject creativity and energy into our businesses in order to soar. To be clear, this is a talk about innovation, growth, and driving business results. But we're gonna have some fun while we do it, and we're gonna use the context of live jazz to reach the desired business outcomes that we seek. Now that you've got this eye of creativity and you're looking at things hopefully in a fresh perspective, I would like you to just look at some of the interactions. Again, keep in mind, we don't, we've never rehearsed. We just met physically this morning. Uh, and jazz, just like your business meetings, is, is a language that's happening in real time. You don't script out everything that you say before you go to a business lunch. You play off of each other. You, you, you bring up topics, you interplay. That's exactly what jazz is. We're gonna screw something up. I can tell you right, well I will, these guys won't. But I'm gonna then figure out how to recover from it in a way that makes sense. So I just want you to watch us play a little bit with a new lens and imagine yourself to a degree playing jazz in your business. You're not gonna use the same instruments perhaps. You may be using uh, other types, you know, computers and other technology, but you're playing jazz nonetheless. So we're going to play a little bit more and then I'll invite you to help me compose a jazz song that we can perform together.